Hey, we have a Trendwire Extra today. We sent our very own Adriana out to The Voice yesterday. She covered the red carpet and she talked to some of the judges plus some of the contestants. Check it out. Um, I'm just, uh, I, have a very, <laughs> I have a very honest heart, a very, you know, open ear, open mind, uh, and open door. You know what I mean? Like, um, to the unwanted, the, the underachieved, the, the, you know, the outcast, you know what I'm saying, the exiled, you know what I mean? Like, I kind of take them in, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, because I see, I feel like music is a civil service, and so, like, my music is passion for the people by the people, you know what I'm saying? And so, like, I'm, I'm meeting them where they are because I still consider myself the people, and I'm, and I'm working class artist at the end of the day. High five to that. Okay. <laughs> We're all people in the end, right? Sure. And, um... You and Jamar, you guys have such an intimate relationship. You guys connect. You, you guys, everybody keeps saying how lucky of a man he is to have a coach like you. Tell me about your guys' relationship. Well, I mean, he's just very committed to me. You know what I mean? A very, um, very genuine and, and, and trusting toward me. And it's just so, you know, like affectionate for two adult men. You know what I mean? Like to, to really be able to bond and, 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 um, and confide in each other, you know what I mean? And, you know, of course, you know, it stems from something, you know, professional, you know what I mean? And trying to kind of get to know each other so we can make the best decisions to win, you know. But um, but ultimately, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's something very, very personal that you discover, you know. Okay. And, it's, and it's really this instant gratification because, like, I felt him. I felt, I felt you know, um, a common thread that connecting us, you know, with my back turned in the blonde audition. So I've, I've loved him. I, he had me at hello. Yesterday, I interviewed you, and you were so excited. Tell me how you're feeling today, and what emotions you're feeling. Ah, just everything. You know, it's it's so crazy, but you know, I, I'm feeling centered. Weirdly, like I've gone through a whole bunch of emotions in the past five minutes, but right now, I'm feeling centered. You know, I'm remembering why I started doing music in the first place, you know, and I'm realizing that that doesn't change wherever I am, you know, I want to make people happy, I want to make music that warms their hearts and makes them feel whole or makes them feel sad if they're sad, you know, like emotional, organic, simple, excuse me, music, and, you know, I'm, I'm not a big singer, I'm not, you know, huge in that sense that I can belt out notes from here to there, you know, but I can make music that makes that is, you know, in line with what I want to do as a life goal. You know, I want to make people happy. And my music can do that because it, it's full of emotion. It's just emotion, you know. I don't have any special skills. I haven't, you know, been training or something. You know, I just sing what I feel, you know. And, and I think it translates to people. And that doesn't change because I'm not on a show anymore.